Hi friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we have to discuss about floating point addition and subtraction in computer architecture course, computer organization and architecture course. Floating point addition and subtraction algorithm can be divided into mainly four steps. First one is check for zeros second one is align the matrices third one is add or subtract the matrices and fourth one is normalize the result these are the four steps we have to follow for performing the addition and subtraction operation between two floating point numbers first step is check for zeros to perform the floating point addition and subtraction operation we require two floating point numbers the first floating point number is stored in ac register the second floating point number is stored in br register now we have to check whether first floating point number value is 0 or our second floating point number value is 0. Okay. So here we have to consider uh, two cases for uh, addition and two cases for subtraction. Okay. In the case of addition, I am considering case 1. Case 1 is suppose first floating point number is 0. That means first floating point number is stored in AC. Then AC value is equal to 0. Now the second floating point number is stored in BR register. It contains non-zero value. So that is BR is equal to 0 0.786. Now we have to perform the addition operation between that two floating point numbers. That is AC plus BR. That is nothing but 0 plus 0 0.786. That is equal to 0 0.786. This value is stored in AC register. Okay. Next. In the case of addition, the second case is, suppose the second floating point number value is 0. That means, the second floating point number is stored in BR register. Its value is 0. The first floating point number contains non-zero value. That means AC contains floating point number that is non-zero value. Now we have to perform the addition operation. AC is equal to AC plus BR. What is AC value? AC value is 0 0.786 and BR value is 0, that is 0 0.786. This value is stored in AC register. Okay. In the first case, the first floating point number is 0. In the second case, the second floating point number is 0. If the first floating point number value is 0, how to perform the addition operation? If the second floating point number value is 0, how to perform the addition operation? Now, suppose while performing the subtraction operation, how to check any floating point number value is 0? Okay. To perform the subtraction operation, we require two register, uh, we require two floating point numbers. The first floating point number is stored in AC register. The second floating point number is stored in BR register. Now we have to check whether AC value is 0 or a BR value is 0. So we have to consider again two cases. So case 1, suppose the first floating point number contains non-zero value. So that is AC is equal to 0.786. The second floating point number that is stored in BR register, its value is 0. Then, 
we have to perform the subtraction operation. Subtraction operation is nothing but AC minus BR. That is equal to 0 0.786 minus 0. That is nothing but 0 0.786. This value is stored in AC register. Okay. Next, coming to case 2. So, case 2 is, suppose the first floating point number value is 0. The first floating point number is stored in AC register. Its value is 0. The second floating point number is stored in BR register. Its value is 0 0.786. It is a non-zero value. Then how to perform the subtraction operation? AC minus BR. So that is nothing but 0 minus 0 0.786. We already know that Suppose 0 minus 10. How to perform the subtraction operation? Simply we can say that minus 10. 0 minus 10 is nothing but minus 10. In the same way, 0 minus 0 0.786 is nothing but 0 0.786. This value is stored in AC register. So in this way, we have to perform the subtraction operation. In the case 1, the second floating point number value is 0. In the case 2, the first floating point number value is 0. How to perform the subtraction operation? So in this way, addition and the subtraction operation is performed between the two floating point numbers. If any floating point number is 0, so then how to perform the addition and subtraction operation. Next, we can go for second step, align the mantissas. This step is align the mantissas. To perform the addition or subtraction operation between the two floating point numbers, the first floating point number is 0 0.583123 into 10 power 3 that is stored in AC register. The second floating point number is 0 0.12300 into 10 power minus 1. This is stored in BR register. To perform the addition operation, compulsory, the necessary condition is we should equal the exponent values. But here, the first floating point number exponent value is 3. The second floating point number exponent value is minus 1. Okay. Here, two cases we are considered. So, case 1 is, case 1 is, we have to increase the exponent value of the second floating point number, that is a minus 1, 2 plus 3. We have to increase the exponent value of the second, second floating point number minus 1 to plus 3. Then it becomes 10 power 3. Here first floating point number exponent value is also 10 power 3. Then we have to perform the addition operation. So this is the first case. Whenever we are incrementing the exponent value minus 1 to plus 3, then we have to perform the shift right operation on the mantissa of the second floating point number. How many times shift right operation we have to perform on the mantissa of second floating point number? That means the difference between minus 1 to plus 3. So that is nothing but 3 minus of minus 1. That is 4 positions we have to perform shift right operation on the mantissa of second floating point number. Okay, here we have to perform shift right operation on the mantissa of second floating point number. So, what is the second floating point number? 0 0.12330 three into 10 power minus 1. Okay. Whenever we are performing the shift right operation four times towards the right. Okay. So, these four bits are removed. Okay. 
in the first right from the first shift right operation this bit is removed in the second shift right operation this bit is removed in the third shift right operation this bit is removed in the fourth shift right operation this bit is uh, removed okay so then this two can goes to here this one goes to here these four bits are vacant places that vacant places are filled with four zeros so into 10 power 3 okay how to increase the exponent value of the second floating point number minus 1 to plus 3. So, how many number of positions we have to increment? Minus 1 to plus 3 means 3 minus of minus 1 that is 4. 4 positions we have to perform the shift right operation on the mantissa of second floating point number. At that time we have to Every shift right operation, we are incrementing the exponent value by 1. Okay. So, these 4, in the 4 shift right operations, these 4 bits are eliminated. This 2 goes to this place. This 1 goes to this place. These 4 positions are vacant places. That vacant places are filled with zeros. Whenever we are performing the shift right operations, leftmost four bits are filled with zeros. At that time, every shift right operation, we are incrementing the exponent value by one. Okay. So now, after performing the shift right operation on the mantissa of second floating point number four times, then we are getting this mantissa. Each and every time shift right operation is performed, its exponent value is incremented by plus 1. Okay. So, then we are getting this one. Okay. So, after aligning the mantissa of second floating point number, so we are getting uh, this one, this one. Now, the first floating point number is 0.583123 into 10 power 3. Next, after aligning the mantissa of second floating point number, the result is 0 0.000012 into 10 power 3. Now, both exponents are equal. At that time, we have to simply perform the addition operation. Okay. Next, now we can go for case 2. So, what is case 2? Case 2 is we are, we are decrementing the exponent value of the first floating point number plus 3 to minus 1. Okay. So, decrementing the exponent value of the first floating point number plus 3 to minus 1. Okay. So, plus 3 to minus 1 is nothing but 3 minus of minus 1. That is 4 positions we have to perform shift left operation. 4 positions we have to perform shift left, shift left operation on the mantissa of first floating point number. Okay. So, first floating point number is 0 0.583 1, 2, 3 into 10 power 3. So, we have to decrement the exponent value of the first floating point number plus 3 to minus 1. Because the second floating point number exponent value is minus 1. So, that we have to decrement the exponent value of the first floating point number plus 3 to minus 1. To perform that one, we have to perform the shift left operation on the mantissa of the first floating point number. Okay. At that time, whenever we are performing shift left operation each time, then the exponent value is decremented by 1. Okay. Whenever we are performing the shift left operation, first this bit is eliminated. This bit is uh, 
eliminated this bit is eliminated this bit is eliminated so four positions we have to perform the shift left operation then we, then we are getting 0 0.1 to 3 three zeros into 10 power minus 1 so we have to decrement the exponent value plus 3 to minus 1 how many number of positions we have to perform the shift left operation four four times we have to perform the shift left operation on the mantissa of the first floating point number so first time we have to perform the shift left operation this bit is uh, eliminated second time this bit is eliminated third time this bit is eliminated and fourth time this bit is eliminated then we are getting so 0 0.23 three zeros into 10 power minus 1 okay so after performing the four times shift left operation on the mantissa of first floating point number then we are getting this the result this result So we have to perform the shift left operation four times. Every time we are performing the shift left operation, one bit is shifted towards the left. At that time, the exponent value is decremented by one. Okay. First, this bit is shifted to left. This bit is eliminated. Second, this bit is shifted to left. This bit is eliminated. Now third, this bit is shifted to left. This bit is eliminated. Fourth, this bit is shifted to left. This bit is eliminated. Okay. So after that, we are getting 0 0.2. 2 is shifted to here. 3 is shifted to here. So then these four positions are filled with zeros. Then we are getting 10 power minus 1. Okay. Four times we have to perform the shift left operation on the mantissa part of the first floating point number. Okay. So this is called as alignment of the mantissa. Here this is called as alignment of the mantissa. Okay. After alignment, then the first floating point number AC value is equal to 0 0.23 zeros into 10 power minus 1. The second floating point number BR value is this one 0 0.123 triple zeros into 10 power minus 1. Okay. Now, both exponents values are equal then we have to perform the addition operation or a subtraction operation okay so by observing this uh, two cases which case is preferable okay in the first case we are aligning the mantissa of second floating point number so we are getting 0 0.123 triple zero is uh, after aligning we are getting 0 0.00012 okay so there is uh, no loss here before aligning the mantis of second floating point number is 0 0.123 triple zero after aligning we are getting 0 0.4012 only three is missing okay next in the case 2 the first floating point number mantissa can be aligned after aligning the first floating point number mantissa then what we are getting 0 0.23 four zeros okay so that means here four bits 
or four bits are removed. Here only one bit is removed. Okay. So more loss is occurred in case two when compared to case one. So which case is preferable? So less loss is occurred in case one. So that case one is preferable. Case two is not preferable because more number of more loss is occurred because here four bits are eliminated after performing the alignment of the first floating point number. Okay, four bits are lost, but here only one bit is lost, three only lost. So that loss is very less in case one. So that we have to prefer the case one. The third step is add or subtract the mantisas. So before going to the third step, in the second step, there are two cases are there, case one and case two. Here we have to consider the case one because uh, less loss is occurred in the case one. In the case two, more loss is occurred so that we do not prefer the case two, only prefer the case one. Okay. In the case one, what is the two floating point numbers we are getting? 0 0.583123 into 10 power 3. This is the first floating point number. The second floating point number can be aligned. After aligning the second floating point number, we are getting 0 0.000012 into 10 power 3. Now we are performing the addition operation. So 3 plus 2, 5, 2 plus 1, 3, 1 plus 0, 1, 3 plus 0, 3, 8 plus 0, 8, 5 plus 0, 5. So 0 0.583 into 135, 10 power 3. So after adding the mantisas that we are obtained from step 2, what is the result we are getting? 0 0.583135 into 10 power 3. Okay. Now we are performing the subtraction operation. 0 0.583123 into 10 power 3. 0 0.000012 into 10 power 3. Now we are performing the subtraction operation. Three minus two, one, two minus one, one, one minus zero, one, three minus zero, three, eight minus zero, eight, five minus zero, five. So zero point five eight three triple one into ten power three. So after adding the two mantisas that are obtained from step 1, we are getting this result. After subtracting the two mantisas that are obtained in step 2, we are getting this result. Next, we can go for fourth step, normalize the result. Next, the fourth step is normalize the result. After performing the addition operation or our subtraction operation between the two floating point numbers, if the MSB bit value, here the MSB bit value is 5, okay, it is a non-zero value. After performing the addition or our subtraction operation, the MSB bit of the mantissa contains non-zero value. Hence, we can say that that result is normalized. Here, what is the result we are getting? 0 0.583135 into 10 power 3. So, the MSB bit is 5. 
so that it is a non-zero value. Hence, we can say that this result is normalized. Next, here in this case, while performing the subtraction operation, while performing the subtraction operation, the result is 0 0.583111 into 10 power 3. Here the MSB bit value is also non-zero value. Hence, we can say that this is also a normalized result. Okay. Now, we can go for another example for the fourth step. In the previous example of step 4, after performing the addition operation, whatever the result we are getting, in that result, the most significant bit of the mantissa is the non-zero value. Hence, we can say that the result is normalized. While performing the subtraction operation also, most significant bit value is the non-zero value. Hence, we can say that the result is normalized. Now, we can go for another example for step 4. That is nothing but normalize the result. Now we are performing the addition operation between these two floating point numbers. These two floating point numbers containing the same exponent value. Hence we can say that simply we have to add the mantissas. 2 plus 2 that is 4. 3 plus 1 that is 4. 7 plus 5 that is 12. Then we are getting 1.244 into 10 power 3. This one is called as overflow bit. When we are performing the addition operation, whenever any overflow occurred, whenever any overflow is occurred, simply we have to perform the shift right operation and increment the exponent value. So, to overcome that uh, overflow condition, we have to perform two steps. First step is perform shift right operation. Second one is increment the exponent value. Increment the exponent value. Whenever we are performing the right shift operation, okay, so this 4 can be shifted to next place, this 4 can be shifted to this place, this 2 can be shifted to this place and this 1 can be shifted to uh, this place, then this vacant place can be filled with the 0. So, 0 0.1244 into 10 power 4 because whenever we are performing the shift right operation by one position, we have to increment the exponent value. The exponent value becomes 10 power 4. Okay. Now, observe this one. The MSB bit value is 1. So, if MSB bit value is equal to 1, that is nothing but non-zero value. So, the result is normalized. The result is normalized. Next. Now, we are performing the subtraction operation. So, whenever we are performing the subtraction operation, we have to check the exponent values. Both exponent values are equal. Okay. Then simply we have to perform the subtraction operation between the mantissas. 2 minus 1, 1. 3 minus 2, 1. 5 minus 5, 0. So 0 0.011 into 10 power 3. Okay. So what is the MSB bit value? MSB bit value is 0. 
if the msd bit value of the mantissa is equal to 0 okay then we can say that underflow is occurred underflow is occurred how to overcome this uh, underflow situation so to overcome that underflow situation to perform two steps what is the first step is perform shift left operation shift left operation second one is decrement the exponent decrement the exponent so these two steps we have to perform whenever underflow is occurred when we can say that underflow is occurred after performing the subtraction operation the ms most significant bit value of mantissa is equal to 0 underflow is occurred whenever underflow is occurred how to overcome that one for that one two solutions are there that solution contains two steps first one is a shift left operation second one is decrement the exponent okay now we have to perform the shift left operation okay by performing the shift left operation so this bit is shifted to this one this bit is shifted to this one this bit is shifted to this one and this bit is vacant now this is we are getting into 10 power 2 so this is the result we are getting this is a uh, msb bit value is uh, uh, 1 so that we can say that the result is normalized okay whenever overflow condition is occurred the solution contains two steps the solution contains two steps for overcome the overflow situation we have to perform the shift right operation by one position then increment the exponent value after performing the shift right operation we are getting this result and then incrementing the exponent value by one okay now msb bit value is equal to one so that the result is normalized when we are performing the subtraction operation so if the msb bit value is equal to zero underflow is occurred how to overcome that underflow condition so by performing these two steps first one is perform the shift left operation then second one is decrement the exponent value so after performing these two steps so now the msb bit value is equal to one so that we can say that the result is normalized so in this way how to overcome the overflow condition how to overcome the underflow condition when we are performing the uh, addition or subtraction operation after performing the subtraction operation any overflow is occurred how to overcome it after performing the subtraction operation any underflow is occurred how to overcome that one so this is the procedure we have to follow for performing floating point addition and subtraction operations these four steps are compulsory used for uh, performing the addition and subtraction operation between the two floating point numbers i hope all of you understanding this video if you have any doubts please put your doubts in the comment section i will try to clarify your doubts in the comment box i will give the entire playlist of computer organization and architecture course so please watch these videos and uh, uh, understand the subject and get the good marks if you really understanding this video please subscribe my youtube channel divela srinivasarao